in this video i'll be showing you a very very easy method of solving a system of linear equations with three variables in most cases we tend to solve this kind of equation using matrix but now i'll be showing you an easier method of solving this kind of equation using the elimination method to solve this kind of equation a system of linear equations with three variables what we do is we group the three equations into two and after grouping them we decide which of the variables will be eliminated first from both groups so from this equation we group the first and the second equation into one group so let's call this group one and let's call this group two we simply group first and second equation into group one and the second and the third equation into group two after grouping them we decide which of the variable will be eliminating first now from group one we have two x minus three y plus three z to be equal to ten and we have five x plus two y minus two z to be equal to six so let's tag this equation one and this equation two using the elimination method if we want to eliminate x that means we are going to equate the coefficient of x in both equations and to equate the coefficient of x that means we multiply equation 1 by 5 and we multiply equation 2 by 2 so multiplying equation 1 by 5 we have this is going to be 10x minus this multiplied by 5 is going to give us 15y this multiplied by 5 is going to give us 15z and this is going to give us 50 so let's call this equation 4 since this is our equation 3 so let's call this equation 4 multiplying this by 2 so we are going to have 10x plus this is going to be 4y and this is going to be minus 4z and this is going to be what? 12 so let's call this equation 5 next we subtract equation 5 from equation 4 so we want to subtract equation 5 from equation 4 10 minus 10 that is going to give us 0 and that means x has been eliminated minus 15 minus 4 that is going to give us minus 19 y this is 19 then 15 minus minus 4 that is going to give us plus 19 z then 50 minus 12 that is going to give us 38 so let's call this equation star so from group 1 x has been eliminated from group 1 now from group 2 we have 5x plus 2y minus 2z to be equal to 6 and we have minus 3x plus 4y plus 6z is equal to 36 since we eliminated the variable x first from group 1 we are also going to eliminate the variable x first in group 2 so let's call this this is our equation 2 and this is equation 3 as usual we are also going to equate the coefficient of x so that we will be able to eliminate x to equate the coefficient of x we multiply equation 2 by minus 3 and we multiply equation 3 by 5 multiplying equation 2 by minus 3 5 multiplied by minus 3 is going to give us minus 15x 2 multiplied by minus 3 is going to give us minus 6y minus 2 multiplied by minus 3 is going to give us plus 6z 6 multiplied by minus 3 that is going to give us minus 18 so multiply this by 5 minus 3 multiplied by 5 that is going to give us minus 15x 4 multiplied by 5 is going to give us 20y 
6 multiplied by 5 is going to give us 30z. And 36 multiplied by 5, that is going to give us 180. So to eliminate x, we can simply subtract this equation from this. Subtracting this equation from this, minus 15 minus minus 15, that is going to give us 0x. So in that wise, x has been eliminated. 20y minus minus 6y, that is going to give us 26y. 30z minus 6z, that is going to give us 24z. 180 minus minus 18, that is going to give us 198. And let us call this equation star star. In that wise, from group 2, the variable x has also been eliminated. Now, let us combine our result from group 1 and group 2. From group 1, we have minus 19y plus 19z to be equal to 38. And we name it our equation star. And from group 2, we have 26y plus 24 z to be equal to 198 we call this equation star star from the combination of our results we have minus 19y plus 19z to be equal to 38 and we also have 26y plus 24z to be equal to 898 so we can simply get rid of this so we have these two equations this is equation star and this is equation star star so using the elimination method we either get rid of the variable y or we get rid of the variable z so let us get rid of the z, so we'll be left with y. And to get rid of the z variable, so we are going to multiply equation star by 24, and multiply equation star star by 19. Basically now, we want to multiply all of this by 24, and multiply this by 19. Minus 19 times 24, that is going to give us minus 456y. 19 times 24 is going to give us 456z. 38 times 24, that is going to give us 912. Multiplying this also by 19, 26 multiplied by 19, that is going to give us 494. 24 multiplied by 19, that is going to give us 456 zip. 198 multiplied by 19, that is going to give us 3762. We can call this equation hash. We can call this hash hash to get rid of the variable z we can simply subtract equation hash from equation hash hash we want to subtract equation hash from hash hash so subtracting this from this 494 minus minus 456 that is going to give us 950 so we have 950y plus 456 minus 456 that is zero and that is z has been eliminated 3762 minus 912 that is going to give us 2850 so we have 950y to be equal to 2850 Therefore, our y is going to be 2850 
divided by 950. 2850 divided by 950. Let's verify that from our calculator. 950. So we have 3. That means y is equal to 3. Now, how do we get our z? Or how do we get our x? Let us first get our z before getting our x. And to get our z, we can simply substitute the value of y into any of these two equations. We have equation star to be this, we have equation star star to be this. Actually, we can use any of the equations, but if we are going to use this equation, we'll be dealing with very, very big numbers. So, let's use any of these equations. So, in that case, we'll be going with equation star. And that means we'll be substituting the value of y into equation star. From equation star, we have minus 19y plus 19z to be equal to 38. I want to substitute the value of y into this equation. We have y to be 3. In that case, we have minus 19 multiplied by 3. Then plus 19z to be equal to 38. 19 times 3 is going to give us 57. So we have minus 57 plus 19z to be equal to 38. So that means 19z is equal to 38 plus 57. And 38 plus 57 is going to give us 95. That means 19z is equal to 95. In that wise, z is equal is going to be 95 divided by 19. So 95 divided by 90 is going to give us 5. That means z is equal to 5. Now to get the value of x, we are going to substitute the both values of y and z into any of the equations. We can use equation 1, we can use equation 2, we can use equation 3. We have our y to be 3, we have z to be equal to 5. From equation 1, we have 2x minus 3y plus 3z to be equal to 10. And we have y to be 3. And we have z to be 5. So everything is equal to 10. That is according to our equation 1. So we have 2x minus 3 times 3 is going to give us 9. 3 times 5 is going to give us 15, and it's equal to 10, so we have 2x minus 9 plus 15, and it's going to give us plus 6, so that means 2x is equal to 10 minus 6, so that means 2x is going to give us 4, and in that wise, our x is going to be 4 divided by 2, so which, is, which means x is equal to 2. We have x to be equal to 2, we have y to be equal to 3, and we have z to be equal to 5. As you can see, it is so nice and easy solving this kind of equation using the elimination method. In my next video, I will be showing you how to solve this kind of equation using your calculator. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. You can also give this video a like if you like it and give your reactions in the comment section below. I will see you in the next video.